Today's video is going to be just a little bit different, and that's because we're going to be taking a look at a product sent to me by Viver. I reached out to Viver a few weeks ago, and I asked them for a suggestion on a diesel heater that would fit inside my tractor cab to help me stay warm when I'm moving snow around. Not only does Viver have a ton of selection of diesel heaters, they happen to have the perfect one for my tractor cab, and they sent this to me so I could share it with you guys, my viewers. Now what you see on the workbench here is everything that was included in that box. It comes with the manual and exhaust, which we may or may not not use this helps you keep it quiet it comes with a pump that way you can pump the diesel fuel from the tank into the unit itself it has the wiring harness it has the control panel a wireless remote start which is awesome that way you can start to heat in a tractor cab maybe while you're in a house and then when you get out there to start plowing it'll be nice and warm I'm excited about that it comes with the unit itself and all the heater and exhaust hoses that you need including a T so you can divert some of that heat to two different locations it pretty much is everything you need to install this and use it out of the box. I think it's gonna be perfect for my tractor cab. So if you're not sure how a diesel heater works, I'm gonna explain that right now. They're a very simple device and they work extremely well and they're very safe providing you install them properly. They obviously run on diesel, though I usually run mine on kerosene. It doesn't really matter which you run it on. I just happen to have excess kerosene normally through the winter. They typically operate off of 12 volts and they usually have a little tiny pump like this guy that pumps fuel into the unit itself. There is a burner inside that is controlled by by the interface that they provide you. And there is an exhaust input and an exhaust output because the heated air that you receive out the front of this unit is isolated from the chamber that's burning inside. That's what makes these very safe. So you do need to exhaust them and you do need to provide them fresh air. Internal air, like inside the cab of my tractor, will pull fresh air into the back of the unit and it'll put out warm air out the front. It's heated by the internal heat exchanger, so none of the air that comes through the unit ever interferes with the combustion that's going on inside the heater unit itself inside. They make these in different sizes, different footprints. Some of them you can rotate and lay on your side like this one. Some of them you can't. You really need to kind of dig into these before you purchase one for yourself. I have actually seen people with small workshops use a big one of these and pretty much heat the workshop and it is very efficient it just doesn't use a lot of diesel to heat the shop they also don't take a lot of electricity to run pretty much there's a little bit of a circuit board inside a little display a fan that's taking up probably the most of the electricity and then there's this little electric pump so it doesn't take a lot of electricity to run one either now basically i've started this unit up and you can hear it's a little bit noisy there is an exhaust that goes on this that quiets the output a little bit of course on my track tractor cab we don't really care because we're just going to exhaust it outside and the tractor itself is loud. Most of the noise you're hearing is actually coming out of the heater itself and it is blowing hot enough air that I cannot even keep my hand up close to it without burning it and I'm pulling diesel fuel out of a small coffee cup. I only have about that much in the bottom and it's not having any problem at all powering this unit and it'll run for a very long time. They're extremely efficient. It is running on a small 12 volt battery back here. I do have a battery tamer on it because this battery is bad. I just wanted something to power this unit up to test it out. And the display is showing everything we need to know. It shows that the unit is on. It shows that there's heat coming out. It shows that the fan is spinning. And it shows what our levels are set to. The clicking that you're hearing is the pump itself. It does get a little bit quieter if you take it off the top of that tank. It's kind of acting like a speaker. And if I want to turn the heater up or down or on or off, I can do it from this keychain. I've just turned it off. But what it'll do is it'll cool the unit down before it actually powers the unit off. It never really shuts down completely without cooling the internals down. You can hear it starting to wind down right now. Once the internals get cool enough that it can power itself off, it'll completely power itself down. Or it can use the panel itself and pretty much control everything from here. So my intentions are to install this in my tractor cab. And as you can see by this picture, the cab is sitting in the shop and I've just started to restore the cab. I have all new glass cut for the cab. I have all new window seals. Pretty much we're at the point where we need to sand it down, give it a paint job, sit it on the tractor, install those windows, and then we're ready for this heater. I'm very excited to use this heater in my tractor this winter and I will surely give you an update of how well it is working. I will also put a link down below to this heater from Viva in case you're interested in purchasing it. If you like these types of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Take a look at some of my other videos. At the very least, you might be entertained.